In today's video, I will be installing a brand new product by Handshow for the Tesla Model Y or 3. This pilot or tow hitch light is perfect if you're looking to make your Tesla stand out and is one of the easiest mods to install. I'll be going through the positives, negatives, and a full installation guide at the end. Let's jump right into it. What's up everyone, this is Ken, also known as Ho. Let's start with the positives. I was very skeptical of the look at first, but after getting a bunch of compliments from my friends and strangers, it's really starting to grow on me, or glow on me. Sorry for that. Moving on, it's also a good way to add extra safety. It's very hard to miss when someone is changing lanes with one of these installed. The animation is much like the Audi taillights. Hancho also has a set of eagle eye taillights for the Model Y and 3 that would complement this pilot light very well. On top of all this, the installation only took us 30 minutes and that's with filming too. If you guys see me around Calgary, feel free to give me a honk or a wave. You can't miss me. If you are worried about the power consumption of this light, rest assured it's so minuscule and will not affect your range at all. A lot of people with range anxiety always ask me this. Quick note that Hansho is providing a 25% discount with my code TESLAHO on checkout, so check out the description below if interested. Now let's get to the negatives. The only few things I could think of is that the light might not be for everyone. I know my girlfriend and a few others think it seems a bit extra, but I'll let you guys decide and feel free to let me know in the comments below. I also would not recommend this item if you need to tow as the light will block that slot. Let's move on to the full installation of this light. All you need for this installation is a 8mm socket wrench, a rubber tool to pry without damaging anything and something to fish the wires from one hole to another. I use this plastic wire with tape on the end. Handshow does not provide any instructions on how to install, which shows how easy it is. Out of box, there is the pilot light and two splitter cables that are neatly labeled with an L and an R for left and right tail lights. First, start off by opening the trunk and removing the rubber nubs at the top of the tail lights. They should simply just pry off. Next, remove the pieces surrounding the trunk area. There should be three pieces that are just held on by clips so they will easily wiggle out. Once that's done, remove the push clips on each side so you don't damage the carpet liner. Next part really depends on if you're doing this by yourself or have a second person helping you out. I had my buddy Rich help me out, so I didn't need to remove the whole side plastic pieces. Once you have access to the taillights, there will be two screws holding each taillight in place. Please be careful when removing them as it will be a pain to retrieve the nuts if you drop them. Now you can easily disconnect the connection powering the taillights and connect the left or right hand show splitter cable. This next part is probably the most time consuming part of the install. Carefully wiggle out the tail light. Be super cautious not to pry it out as there is a little sharp piece that easily breaks off. Quick tip for you guys is to use duct tape and pull the tail light out only applying backwards force. It's possible to attach all this without removing the tail light, but I was over paranoid with breaking any clips, so proceed with your own comfort level. Next, use the pry tool to remove the plastic piece where the pilot light will sit. There are clips all around, so make sure to unclip all of them before removing fully. For the right tail light, tape the yellow cable to the rod I mentioned at the beginning of the video and route the wire through the rubber liner. Connect them to the splitter cable and place the tail light back into place. At this time, it's best to do a quick test to see if the pilot light is working as expected before screwing everything back into place. Now simply repeat these steps for the other tail light and clip the pilot light back into place and you're all done. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this tail light and drop a like if you enjoy content like this. I'll have lots of exciting FSD beta videos out very soon as it was just released to Canada yesterday. Thanks for watching guys. Tiho out.